Green is universal. And did you know the average American creates about 1,600 pounds of trash a year? So what if you had to save all that trash for 365 days? Channel 4's Pablo Pereira found a local man who's giving it a try. Got to be careful of the bottles as you go. Since January 1st, Dave Kumaitis has kept his trash in the basement. Empty bottles line the staircase. At the bottom, the rest of the trash. Uh, like a cookie tray. And tuna tin. This is the bag of bags. 41 pounds of paper. A worm composter. Kind of open up the top here. The worms slowly turn green waste and paper into rich fertilizer. There's some coffee greens. Watermelon rind. Oh, there's corn on the cob. I've been wondering how long that's going to take. What did his wife think when he proposed this project? I said, okay, if it means a lot to you, as the supportive wife should say. They also have two kids. While Dave is only saving his trash, the project has led to changes around the house. I feel really guilty throwing old produce, vegetables, or fruits in the trash can. I would never do that now. This is all going to be green bin stuff. What doesn't go in the green bin is fed to the worms. About those worms, Elisa was surprised when she found Dave using her blender to chop food scraps for them. That did kind of upset me a little bit. And so I've designated that as his blender for the worms now, and I went and got myself a new blender. Many people ask, does all this trash smell? No, it doesn't smell. At just past the halfway point of this year-long experiment, most Americans have produced about 800 pounds of trash. Not Dave. He has a small fraction of that. He wants to learn how to create less waste. Instead of plastic or paper bags, reusable bags wait at the front door for shopping trips. Used baggies are washed and reused. Empty egg cartons are taken to the farmer's market to be refilled. So are strawberry baskets. Why not just take them back and have them put more strawberries in them? As for recyclables, Dave says it's better than throwing things away. But he believes there are better alternatives. It's taking energy to be recycled, and it's actually being downcycled and turned into something else. It's not being turned into a new plastic bottle. He carries a backpack with a reusable water bottle, coffee mug, even a plate that can be transformed into a bowl. And it's easy to clean out. Dry it off, put it back in. For a man who transformed his car to run on vegetable oil, he understands most people won't go to these extremes. But he hopes to see more people make improvements. If you're using plastic bags, stop using plastic bags. If you're drinking out of plastic water bottles, stop drinking out of plastic water bottles. Just pick one thing and achieve it. And then once you get it into your life and you realize that it's not that big of a deal, you can go, oh, well, this is cool. And then you're there. And then you can go, OK, I'm going to do the next thing. Imagine if everybody did that. Those landfills wouldn't close nearly as fast as they do now. Every day he writes a blog about the experiment, which continues until the end of the year. You can link to his blog on the Green is Universal section of our website, knbc.com. Pablo Pereira, Channel 4 News.